So today I wanted to make a video uh, about how you can start raising meat birds on your property. Even if you have a very, very small property, uh, you just need a little bit of land. Um, and I want to show you how to build a free chicken coop. Or as I call it, the chicken cap. Um, this was a truck cap. I had this idea a long time ago to build this. And <clears throat> basically just got on Facebook Marketplace Put on a, a listing looking for a truck cap. Didn't have to be in good shape. Um, There's probably a bunch of old truck caps out there laying around that people don't know where or how to get rid of them. So I, uh, I knew something had to be laying around. So I found this one, wasn't very far away. A uh, guy had it. Um, it was actually worked out perfect. It did not need to have any of the glass or anything in it. So all I did was put this mesh on the back window and it works perfect to give the chicken some airflow and keep them but keep them safe at night still and we just move this thing around every day so i'll show you what we got for a feeder and a water in here and show you how it works so right now as you can see these chickens are probably a week or two away from being butchered uh, maybe i'll make a video about that when we do that also but uh right now there's a couple big chickens back in there um this truck cap like i said it was free i got it off marketplace it didn't have the back glass in it so i just i screwed the, this quarter inch mesh to it um gives them good airflow see i can open the glass over there when it gets hot out we just open the the back of it up and let the chickens run around today it's kind of a rainy day but they're getting so big i didn't want to we had 30 chickens to start with we're down to about 21 now um just because we've had some predators and some issues but there's colton holding a turkey we got turkeys growing too but uh like i said i can open the windows on it i may take that front glass out and put mesh up there also but uh it gets pretty good airflow it doesn't get real hot in there uh on the hot summer days but like i said we do let them out and run around a little bit but they pretty much stay right around this area um we're gonna be putting an orchard in here soon we got a couple fruit trees we got some pears apples and uh, peaches and this is going to be our orchard area kind of behind the greenhouse I just trimmed up this apple tree it's pretty old and sad looking but i cut some of it out we'll see if it'll see how it'll produce this year but keeping these chickens in this cap and you just move it around every day and this is all chicken poop um and these chickens eat the grass they get in they eat the tall grass that's in there i do feed them every day and i keep them with water um we do have a little water over here just uh, a little water we bought from PSC. We fill that up every day, maybe twice a day if it's real hot out. Um, and make sure that they, they do have water. And the feeder, the feeder's one I made just with a tub and some PVC pipe. And you they this way they can't get in it. They can't mess it up, get a bunch of chicken poop in there. As you can see, it's about empty. It'll hold almost a whole 50 pound, 50 pound bag of feed. And as they eat, it just filters down. And they can just get their heads in it. And that way they don't make a mess of their feed. And you just move that around with the, with the chicken cap. As you slide it around every day, you just slide that with it. And put it down, buddy. Put it down. He's chirping. He's not happy. There's a turkey. So these chickens will just run around, eat the bugs. Like I said, we're getting really good fertilizer for our, our orchard here. They're pooping uh, in the cap. When you keep when you keep the cap shut, like when they're smaller and you keep the cap shut, they'll just create piles of poop. And this is, I mean, that's only one day. So we've moved it around. This has been rained on. So it went from here to here to over there. And now I moved it up past some of these trees here and uh now it's up there i kind of put it in the shade of that big walnut tree to keep it a little cooler we had some really hot days last week but right now is a good time of year in the spring uh, we'll be butchering chickens real soon so 
like I said, keep uh, keep an eye out for a video of that. So basically all it takes to raise meat chickens on your own property if you wanted to is uh, a little bit of room. Like I said, we're, we could probably do this on a half acre or less um, and, and do 30 plus birds at a time. Um, I figure I'm going to, I got some family members that are going to want some of these birds once we butcher them. And then uh, we'll put some in the freezer. And I actually got a homemade 55 gallon drum plucker off of a friend. I'm going to give him some birds once we get them plucked for letting me have that. Because that's going to make this job super easy. Super, super easy. So uh, instead of having to rely on, you used to have to drive the birds a half hour away just to get them processed. And it's not real expensive, but it's just kind of a hassle driving them up there getting them unloaded driving them back when in probably less than half a day with this plucker i'll be able to pluck them myself and uh we'll be eating chicken for dinner so i'll show you how we got our turkeys over here now so these turkeys are free ranging you can see they're just kind of playing around in the kids gym house today but we got these turkeys all on on clearance from family farm and home for a buck fifty a piece they were seven dollars i ended up getting 33 turkeys which i really didn't need that many turkeys but uh i figure we'll get them raised up and i've already got a couple people that want to buy some of those also thanksgiving and christmas dinners so i'll show you how we're keeping those right now um we got i think we're down to we don't have too many turkeys left. We had a mink get in here one night. Somehow he got past all the chicken wire and got a couple of our turkeys out. So in, in here, this is the turkey coop. That's just a thing of food. Um, this is what we use to feed them, but they're free ranging now, so they're not really eating a whole lot of feed. Um, and that's the water in there. But I also have this, this drip water made with a couple of nipples and that one was for a goat when we had a goat in here but it's just got a couple of chicken nipples on it and it's all pvc piped into this barrel that sits here and we just fill it up and uh i'm gonna focus and uh we just fill this barrel up with water it's like a 30 gallon barrel and it'll last them all quite a while so we keep them in this coop for right now and then this is the other side of the coop where we have our laying chickens they sleep in here every night and we got some new additions there some bantams and some barred rocks hopefully they'll be laying soon we're going to try and hatch out some little bantam chickens this is our newest little rooster he is a uh, seabright bantam um, we got him from a friend of a friend down the road. They had a couple they bought, I think, just straight run and ended up with a bunch of roosters. Well, we got a couple of small Seabright hens from a friend. And I thought it'd be neat to uh, try and hatch out some little Bantam chickens. See what their eggs taste like. I'll try and catch him crowing here, maybe. He's got a cute little crow. Maybe not. He was out here this morning making noise. Must be camera shy. We don't have a name for this rooster. Um, I don't know. The kids just haven't come up with one yet. But <laughs> here soon we'll have a name for him. The other rooster's buddy. He's a Rhode Island Red rooster. He's a pretty good sized rooster. Come on, see you bright. Yeah, well, maybe later he'll grow. All right, well, that was my video about uh, free chicken cap. Um, like I said, it's a great way if you want to get into raising your own birds. There was a little sea bright. He just, just crowed. I if I'll do that again. Um, like I said, it's a great way to, to get into raising your own birds. Um, once those chickens are butchered and in the freezer... Um, <clears throat> I may put a couple turkeys in there just to keep the fertilizer getting out on the ground, uh, moving around maybe on some bare spots where the grass ain't growing that great and try and get it growing better. So we'll see how it goes, but, uh, see if I can get the Seabright on, 
on camera again crowing. He's back here in the weeds. There you go. So that's our new little tiny rooster. But all right, guys. Well, if you like this video, hit me up with a subscribe and a like. Share it even if you would. Uh, leave a comment down below. We'd like to see where everybody's from and who's watching our videos. So I've only gotten one comment on my videos. So I'd like to see a couple more down there. If you could hit a like and a and a subscribe and a comment. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.